You want to get shaders like these in Minecraft 1.21.4? Well, in this video, we're going to go over every single step of downloading and installing shaders for Minecraft 1.21.4 so you can start playing Minecraft with shaders like these and getting all the benefits from better lighting to grass swaying in the wind to even volumetric clouds. It's all going to be possible after this video. To get started, you want to go here. This is the second link in the description down below. That link will take you to our in-depth text guide on getting iris shaders which is the shaders mod we're going to be installing here as i'm recording this video optifine shaders isn't out yet but if you do want optifine shaders we'll do a video on it as soon as it does come out so be sure to subscribe on this page here we want to go ahead and click on download iris shaders to go to iris's official download page on this page it's pretty simple just click download universal jar here and the iris shaders installer will begin downloading you may need to keep or save it like we do here it's 100 percent safe to do that while it's downloading though, how to mess from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash sgh to start your very own 24-hour ddos protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, and mod packs to your server and truly customize your server any way that you want. There's even expert live chat support there to help you out should you have any issues along the way. So don't waste a ton of time making a server on your own. You can start one the simple way at the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash sgh. Now at this point, Iris is downloaded. We'll also need to download some shade packs these are basically like resource packs that add shading to minecraft and different lighting options to minecraft we have a link of course in the description down below to some of the best shaders packs that are out there bsl shaders is one of them so we're going to go ahead and grab that makeup ultra fast is another that's one of my personal favorites and then let's go ahead and scroll down and grab I don't know, complimentary shaders. That's another super popular shader pack. Shaders packs are usually downloaded from CurseForge or Modrinth. This one's on CurseForge here. We can go ahead and go to Files, and then we can find the most recent version. Now, it may not necessarily be for Minecraft 1.21.4, and that's okay for shaders packs. Even older shaders packs from older versions, like 1.19, a lot of times will work in 1.21.4. Nevertheless, we want to go ahead and click on the three dots here, click Download File, and the download will begin. Again, after a few seconds, you may need to keep or save the file. Go ahead and save complimentary there. BSL Shaders is a bit different because on our website it takes you to their website where you can click BSL Shaders and then click on download and then scroll down to where you want to download it at. There's two different versions or actually three different versions of BSL Shaders and we're going to download this from Modernth since that's another place to get shader packs. On Modernth you want to go ahead and click on versions and then once you do that you want to again find the most recent version which right here it is. Go ahead and click the download button and the download will begin after you save the file. Mega Ultra Fast is on CurseForge and the process this is the same as complimentary just making sure we're grabbing the most recent version there and clicking download file now with all of our shaders packs downloaded it's time to actually get everything installed in order to do that we want to go ahead and minimize our browser and move everything to our desktop so we can find it in my downloads folder for you it's going to be wherever files typically download for you go ahead and select all these and move them to your desktop here and we want to go ahead and organize these as well these three being our shader packs and then iris installer being the iris shader mod that makes all of these shaders packs where it can basically talk to Minecraft. To install Iris, we want to right click on it, click on open with, click Java and click OK. But what if you don't have Java here or you have Java and it doesn't work? Well, in both scenarios, you need this Java 21. Java 21 is required to get Iris shaders in any Minecraft mod in general. And this guide goes over everything you need to know to get it specifically for Minecraft mods. So it goes over everything. We also recommend running the jar fix after getting Java. This will take all the jar files from your computer and link them back to Java, making them work together. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and what we want to do is again right click on Iris Installer, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. That'll open the Iris Installer here where all you've got to do is make sure 1.21.4 is selected, and then go ahead and click Install. When you do, it will install Iris. The reason this wouldn't work is if you've never played Minecraft 1.21.4 before. If you haven't, go play it. Just open it up to the main menu, close out of it. Or if Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher are open, that can sometimes cause issues, so make sure both of those are closed. We can now go ahead and close the Iris installer, and you can even delete Iris from your computer. You don't need it anymore. Let's get our shaders packs installed. To do that, we actually want to play Minecraft using Iris. So let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. Then in the Minecraft launcher, we're actually going to have an Iris installation. It's already selected for us down here, but if we go to installations, we'll be able to see Iris and Sodium for 1.21.4. There it is. We can click play on this and click play again because we're playing modern Minecraft. That's all that's doing is warning you that you're playing mod in Minecraft and now Minecraft will open up with Iris shaders installed and from there it's super easy to install our shader packs. All we want to do is from the Minecraft main menu click on options and then video settings and then up here at the top there's shader packs. Again that was from the main menu options 
video settings, and then shader packs up here at the top. When you click on that, it's gonna take you to your shader pack menu, where you can go ahead and click on the open shader pack folder at the bottom of the shader packs menu. When you do that, you wanna drag and drop all of your shader packs into the shader packs folder here, and when we come back in game, they are all now selectable. To select one, well, just click on it. BSL shaders, for example, and you click on it, will become selected and when you click apply it will become active you can tell that it's active because it will now be yellow and you have shader pack settings down here at the bottom this is where you can change all kinds of different settings with bsl shaders it's great to be able to do this for example if you have a lower npc you could run the low setting or if you had a higher npc you could run the high setting click apply when you're done and you can actually change shader packs in game which is especially helpful when you're trying to decide which one to go with so you can easily compare them and i'll show you how to do that once we're in game shaders packs do work on servers fully including simple game hosting servers like this one then go ahead and press escape and then go to options video settings and shader packs like i said you can change these in game so you go ahead and select complementary shaders click apply and it will become active you can kind of see the preview behind the shader packs menu but you can see it even better of course if you close the shader packs menu and everything is a little different with shaders the clouds are a bit different the shading's a bit different colors can be different it's actually really interesting all that you can change by just changing a shader pack and uh, let me show you that one more time in a uh, more drastic way by going it to the other shader pack that we have installed makeup ultra fast when we click apply in the background it will change and very drastically change, as you can see, to a very different shaders pack. Very white light here, whereas the other one was a very yellow light. Very interesting and kind of crazy all that can change and how much the well, vibe of Minecraft can change. You can see the crops blowing in the wind there. So there you have it. That is how you can get shaders in Minecraft 1.21.4. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comments. Make sure you give us a thumbs up. We'll see you in the next one. I am out. Peace.